Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good evening to you. Hope you all having a great day today. It is the 1st of October and we have got past it, so yay. Uh, but I do have some new information for you. It shouldn't make everybody relax. I'm going to show you Euro versus GFS, the two models that are, are in transition with each other. But for what I'm showing, and what I'm going to show you, is that Tropical Storm Gamma is just going to be a tropical storm. Uh, I'm showing that Tropical Storm Delta has the potential to be a, a partial hurricane, but I don't think it's going to be long enough for it to hold the winds because this is wind gusts and we're picking it up on wind gusts, but it's not showing on a 10 meter run. And I'm kind of tired of looking at all that pink, but I'm going to show you everything that you, that you need to see. I'm going to show you Euro versus GFS. So I appreciate you for watching. Just give me a moment and I will show you. Now, like I said, this is a GFS model. This is your first disturbance here. This is Invest 91L. This will be a tropical storm gamma. It is going to come up to the Yucatan Peninsula. It's going to come all the way around and go towards Mexico City. People say it's going towards Miami. I'm going to show you why. And this is your second uh, wave that you have back here. This is going to be your 92L, I imagine, when they get it. And it's going to be a tropical storm delta. Delta is going to move up and have problems on both models, uh, showing the issues between the Dominican Republic and, uh, and Cuba, tearing up all the power that it has. Uh, but let me get to you. Here's it is, just GFS, of course, on WSV3. Time of date is on the top left. This is on a second. This is at 9 a.m. Now, this is tomorrow. This is when everything's supposed to start. Now, if you notice, right in that darkness, see, that's what I was waiting for. Until then, it's a depression. But when you get that darkness, you get tropical storm. And this is your wind gust. So right below it will be right around the same, maybe a little bit later. But I don't want to show you that. I want to show you the, the Euro versus GFS. Now, this is at 4 a.m. on the 3rd. Here's your uh, second one, your delta, trying to form into a depression, but it goes away pretty quickly on the 3rd. But it comes back on the 5th, and it pops to a tropical storm on the 6th. Now, the whole time... Gamma is coming around the Yucatan Peninsula. Its center is actually right here. Uh, people will think that this will go to Florida because while it's whipping around, the shear is whipping it so much that it's just tearing parts all, all off of it. And a couple of them becomes a couple uh, thunderstorm cells. And that's what it comes off of. But as it comes, you'll see that the center down here moves down and it all pulls down back to the center. And the same thing kind of happens uh, with Delta. But let me show you. Now, here's the fifth, and right when it goes into the sixth, uh, Tropical Storm Delta gets its strength, and it becomes a tropical storm. That is according to the GFS. I will show you the Euro next. And it starts headed towards Dominican, in between Dominican Republican and Cuba, and Cuba shreds it. It, it don't have nothing left, and the low pressure is right here on the bottom. And it actually stays on the bottom all the way across. It crosses over the Yucatan Peninsula, and it stays down here and swirls for a while. It gets hurricane strength for a minute, and then it dies out by Mexico City. Now here it is getting beat up by the, the Cuba with the winds. And here's Gamma down here circling around towards Mexico City. It's spinning this thing up. It gets up to almost hurricane right there. That This is wind gusts. So it will be, of course, it will be less. But you can see the potential in the winds. This is... 70 right there 71 i think i can get a little bit more power i just got it going so fast <laughs> don't want to waste no time i'm big on that and you don't give it to me there you go let's see what color you give and you don't give it let's keep going so you see the purple this is the purple up here the 70 strong 70 would be the bluish purple that looked like that was close to that 76 77 miles an hour but if you notice it disappeared where did Delta go? Delta's right here. Now, let me slow it down just a minute. I want you all to see him get beat up. It's kind of funny. He thinks he's going to do something, and he don't. He actually causes problems, actually, for Mexico City. So it's not really funny at all. But it goes in over Dominican Republican, in between Dominican Republican and Cuba, and it goes straight over it, and it just gets beat up. It don't come back from it. It gets 20 miles an hour winds. That's what these greens are. It gets a little spurt of maybe 30 right there, that orange, and, and that's it. This storm gets done, and then it gets pulled eastward out into the Atlantic. So it's not going nowhere. That's Delta. That's according to GFS. Gamma, as you saw, it had, a, had some winds for a minute. 
Let's see if I can slow this down for you now that I did. Let's see if we can bring in the intensity that we saw. Let's see what the, the best potential that we have as a problem for gamma. 75, and I think it gets a little bit more spark than that. You know, the light, light blue, that, that gets more towards 80 when you do that. But let's see if we can catch it. And no, I didn't catch it again. I'm not going to go slower. This is enough clicking as it is, to be honest with you. 81. Okay, so it does get up there. And this is wind gusts, so it has a chance to probably be low 70s down there. But it stays there. And it stays there and it dissipates out, all the way out. And it don't do any more damage. It will do damage to Mexico City and nearby uh, locations. But it, Delta's gone. Delta's torn up. And then you get the blast. Let me fast forward this. After after let me show you. It goes through and it gets beat up around Yucatan Peninsula. It, it shreds out its bands. And then when it gets around the fourth to the fifth, Delta forms down here and gets beat up across Cuba. The whole time the, the center down here for Gamma pulls all these rain bands back down, tightens back up, because it has to tighten up to strengthen. And it just gives storms for Mexico City and the nearby over there. And the whole time, Delta, keep your eye on Delta. Delta's gone. Delta disappears. Cuba beats it up. Now, another way I can show you, I'll show you on the Euro. Now, if you go over to windy.com, any single one of you can go to that. Go to your rain and thunder. Make sure you turn on your pressure so you can see these low pressures moving around. And I'm just going to go a few days. I'm going I'm to go all the way to the, the 8th or 9th. I mean, it's a week, but the next three days, I'll let you know when that is. But here's Delta right here. Here's Gamma moving around. And right about there, uh, Gamma forms up. It's at 2976. And then it goes all the way around the Yucatan Peninsula. It stays right here for a while because it pulls all these rain bands back in. See, it looks like it storms over there. But it's not going to be. That's just a rain band that's getting shredded by the wind shear. And the whole time this is just getting shredded. All the way off as the center goes around the Yucatan. You'll see it. Look, one big storm right there. It sparks up some good strength. But it don't have a center rotation. And other uh, models pick that up as, as a tropical storm. And that's going to be where it's going. That's not where it's going. It's going to be down here tightening up towards Mexico City. Now this is your Euro. If you look on the bottom right, you'll see it says Euro, GFS, and NAM. And this is your Euro. And now I'm going to back you up to a little bit on a third so we can follow Delta over here. Delta is going to go across over Cuba. And you can see the low pressure below it. So it's on the bottom half of this. Okay, so all the rain and the storms is on the top. So as it goes by Cuba and Dominican Republic, it shreds all its power. And here's the pressure right here actually moving across. It's going to move all the way across the Yucatan Peninsula. And it done got weakened right there, so it's not doing anything. That's why, G that's why the GFS shows that it just dies out because the islands take all its energy from itself. But Euro shows that it hangs on a little longer. And it, right around the 7th and the 8th, it starts moving across the Yucatan Peninsula. And it strengthens back up uh, over here by Mexico City. So Mexico City gets a second one. And this one gets, I believe I saw a 2946. Let's follow the, the low pressure. It keeps going. This is, this is Delta. This is according to the Euro. What happens to Delta? It just stays over here by Mexico City. because I think because Cuba and the Dominican Republic just took all its power out. Now, if we go over to the GFS... And we see what the strength is uh, from this storm. You'll see the same thing that I just showed you, but now you can see the cells. And then right here you got gamma. That's what you're looking at, this low pressure forming right here. This is gamma. It comes around. It's, it spits a lot of rain and a lot of bands for a while towards Florida. And when it comes around, you see the real stretching that the wind shear is doing to this thing. It's bringing this storm elongated all the way out and it's going to start a little low pressure over here on the east coast i believe and just go off somewhere that might become something itself i don't know if see it right there i don't know if that becomes a storm itself 
But you can also see Delta over here trying to spark up a little life uh, over here. You see this pressure forming? That's Delta. Here's Delta's uh, energy source and their rain bands and everything coming with it. But here's the actual center of, of low pressure down here. Now Gamma, let me back this up for a little bit more. Gamma starts swinging around the Yucatan Pen Peninsula and it stretches those bands all the way out. And it pulls them back tight just like you've seen in other models. And it heads towards Mexico City. Uh, Delta is back here. Back it up. It's hey, going back and forth. I want to make sure we keep up to date with it as we're moving forward. Delta is right here. And this is all its power up north going across Cuba. And once again, they're going to get all this rain, all these storms, while it moves across on a lower down here. Now, Gamma heads towards Mexico City. It starts strengthening, starts tightening up its bands. This is on the 6th. And it gets all the way down to 52, 51, 46, right there. That's its strongest point. 29.46 is 65 miles per hour. So it's not quite a hurricane. It's in the high 60s, just like it's been showing for the other models. But it does have power because, as, you, as you've seen just now in the wind gusts, that it has 81 uh, for the wind gusts. So it does have strength with it. But that's the strongest it has as it rocks towards Mexico City and just spins up. Now, if you follow right here, this is Delta. This is on the 6th. We didn't lose them. And all this power got taken by Cuba and all the, the islands over here. So he's still moving west. He's, he's just trucking west. He don't have much to him. That's why he's going in and out of low pressure. Low pressure means it's 1,013 millibars. So if it don't read 1,012, it's not picking it up. But it's still moving. And right when... Gamma gets done spinning all off towards Mexico uh, City. Delta is going to pick up where Gamma left off and just flow with the energy a little bit longer. But that is what we're showing, guys. That is the new information of Euro versus GFS. And God bless Mexico. Uh, I hope y'all be okay through that because I'm showing two storms going to the same spot. That would not be good at all. I mean, just one is enough. Uh, I believe y'all have enough problems with rain and flooding as it is. Now, I wasn't going to do an update. I wasn't sure if the information was going to change soon enough. So I didn't pick out uh, the, anything special for you, but something that sticks out with me that I really like to share with you guys Is Job 33. Wherefore, Job, I pray thee, hear my speeches and hearken to all my words. Behold, now I have opened my mouth, my tongue has spoken in my mouth. My words shall be of the unrighteous, the uprightness of my heart, and my lips shall utter knowledge clearly. The Spirit of God hath made me, and the breath of all the Almighty hath given me life. If thou canst answer me, set thy words in order before me. Stand up. Behold, I am according to thy wish in God's steed. I am also informed out of the, the clay. Behold, my terror shall not make thee afraid, neither shall my hand be heavy upon thee. Surely thou hast spoken in my hearing, and I have heard the voice of the, thy words, saying, I am clean without transgression. I am innocent. Neither is there iniquity in me. Behold, he findeth occasions against me. He counteth me for his enemy. He putteth my feet in the stocks. He marketh all my paths. Behold, in this, art, in this thou art not just. I will answer thee, that God is greater than man. Why doest thou strive against him? For he giveth not account for any of his matters. For God speaketh once. Yea, twice, yet man perseveth, perseveth, <laughs> not, sorry. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon me, and slubberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and scaleth their instruction, that he may withdraw man from, from his purpose, and hide from man pride, and hide pride 
from man. Sorry, these words are small, guys. He keepeth back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. He is chastened also with pain upon his bed and the multitude of his bones with strong pain. So that his life adhoreth bread and his soul dainty meat. His flesh is consumed away that it cannot be seen and his bones that were not seen stick out. Yea, his soul draweth near unto the grave and his life to the destroyers. If there be a messenger with him and an interpreter, one among a thousand to shew unto man his uprightness, then he is gracious unto him and saith, deliver him from deliver him from going down to the pit. I have found a ransom. His flesh shall be fresher than a child's. He shall return to the days of his youth. He shall pray unto God and he will be favorable unto him. And he shall see his face with joy, for he will render unto a man his righteousness. He looketh upon men, and if any say, I have sinned and perverted that which was right, and it profited me not. He will deliver his soul from going into the pit, and his life shall see the light. Lo, all these things worketh God oftentimes with man, to bring back his soul from the pit, to be enlightened with the light of the living. Mark well, O Job. Hearken unto me, hold thy peace, and I will speak. If thou hast say anything to say, answer me, speak, for I desire to justify thee. If not, hearken unto me, hold thy peace, and I shall teach thee wisdom. Amen. Man, if you got to ask God for something, man, you mean in your heart, you ask him. He has no problem giving you the best of everything. But if you don't want to ask him, don't complain. God bless everybody. I hope you all have a great night. I appreciate you for listening. All glory does go to God.